I remember the emptiness, vast and endless. The Azim Steppe, home to countless roaming tribes. A sacred land, watched over by elder gods. Here, we would find Doma's salvation. With the wind at our backs, we walked on, in search of hope, in search of him.
Hey. How goes the search? Any luck? of Lord Hien, we should be most grateful for your assistance. Oh, please! It is I who should be grateful. Hold! What is this? I came first, you second! Know you to whom you speak? All people of the step should! Or have you fought so much that you have forgotten the face of your superiors? Superiors? I spit on your superiority, little prince! Twisted and mad as sand devils your kind are! Those two don't seem to like each other very much. Those boys are of the Oranir and Dothal. The two strongest tribes. The children of Azim are destined to rule. So they declare to all who will listen. Their word is law. For now. Grand, flamboyant fighters. But deadly. Very deadly. He prances as a horse. As do his brothers after their many recent victories. The Undying Ones, too, are strong, fearless, and vicious. They often reigned in the past. Now, they are sorely tested. Ah, the master of the markets. He is Castile. To fight in reunion is forbidden, and to break the peace is to be banished forever. This he says without words, for words are lies to the Castile. They do not speak. That's... interesting. And all these different tribes share the same lands, do they? No wonder it's tense. I shall look for you on the field at the Nardum. Mark my words! <laughs> As shall I! Mayhap I shall take eleven more Dothar heads to make a dozen with yours. I, I look forward to the day! The dispute will be settled at the Nardum? A great battle held on the final day of the Sahan San. During this time, all bonds of hierarchy are broken. All Zela are equal and free to prepare for the fight. The tribe which triumphs in the Nardum rules until the next Sahan San. Which in these lands is now. Ah, so that is what they call the custom. I presume your tribe will also be taking part? Not all seek the Dawn Throne. Some are satisfied with their lot. Others, like the Kestir, have reason to remain neutral. The more are lambs among wolves. Long were we content to remain apart and live quietly, but... Never mind that. You see Kien, yes? I know where he may be.
Mikami are merciful. My lord Hien, I see you are alive and well. Ah, oh, you are come sooner than expected. So, my blade or my head, which would you have of me? The people of Yansha remain loyal to Doma. I have seen the fire in their eyes. They are ready to rise up and fight. The time is ripe, my lord. Return with us, blade in hand, and lead Doma to freedom. Not less than liberty will suffice, then. A pity. It would prove far more difficult to deliver than my head. But if my people wish to pursue an impossible dream, then who am I to deny them? You giddy, go set sir, and uh... the scions of the seventh dawn, my lord, good and true friends who opened their hearts and homes to us when we fled to Eorzea. Far across the sea, they have journeyed to stand with us in the fight for Doman liberation, to oppose the Empire as they have in the West, where they are lauded as heroes for their many deeds. Say no more, you giddy. Say no more. I observed how you helped Serena, to whom I am deeply indebted. For that and for the aid you provided my people, you have my deepest gratitude. There is no doubting your strength, nor your character. It would be my honor to fight by your side. So, what of Doma? Arise, my friends, and tell me of our home. I have made my decision. You, Giddy, I bid you return to Yansha and take charge of our forces in preparation for my homecoming. As for our esteemed guests, I would ask that you remain here with me. I sense you will be a great help in the coming days. Your will is my command, my lord, but how much longer do you intend to stay? Oh, only until I have won the contest. I mean to return at the head of the Zayla army. You mean to participate in the Nardum? Have you a better idea? Consider how soundly you were defeated before. The Imperials may have since grown weaker, but we are weaker still. It would be folly to challenge them without first supplementing our forces, so yes, I intend to win the Nardum and enlist the aid of every able-bodied Zayla I can. Furthermore, by championing the mole in the contest, I can at last repay their kindness. Lest you forget they saved me from certain death, and a man who suffers such debts to go unpaid is without honor and unfit to lead. <laughs> just so, just so. Our Lord has spoken, you giddy. But take heart, I shall keep him safe. And should it come to it, bring him back by force. This is no laughing matter, Gosetsu. But if these are my orders, very well. Once more, I place my faith in you. Pray look after them both. Looks like it's up to us then. Though it does seem a bit risky. Isn't Hien meant to be the next King of Doma or something? So they say. Though in truth, I am but a pale reflection of my late father. All the more reason to entreat your assistance. For ours is an impossible dream. 
to set in motion a revolution that will rattle the very firmament and shake off the yoke of the most powerful empire in the world. 